ask y'all for an assessment of what today's scrimmage looked like. Zach, if y'all can both answer. Uh, it was pretty good. I feel like it was a lot better than last scrimmage because, you know, it was our first kind of like tackle live action thing. So um, this one, everybody kind of knew their assignments better. And, you know, people were late. They were making less mistakes. So. Yeah, I think uh, to piggyback off of what Zach said, uh, it was a assignment sound scrimmage. Uh, we competed better than we have in a long time. So especially coming from that first scrimmage, it's definitely a big improvement. What's your weight now? And do you remember what your weight was when you first uh, came up here as a freshman and kind of how how has that affected you, your body changing like, like it has? Uh, currently, I'm 260. But when I came in, I was 204. So, you know, that is kind of a big jump. And I feel like it's really helped me a lot with staying, like, on the line and stuff. Because, you know, going against Myron, you're a big boy. So you can't be just 200 pounds doing that. And I feel like just the strength aspect has helped me you know, stay in my gap, read fits and everything else. And it's really just, you know, it'll take me to the next level and what I'm trying to do here. You've obviously gotten some game experience, made some plays. How do you feel about, what are your expectations? How are you feeling going into your, your, your third year now? I feel a lot better because, you know, I've gained more confidence, not only from the weight, but just from the time playing. Um, I feel, you know, a lot more comfortable. I'm not really, you know, itchy looking for this and that. I'm more like down to earth and I could just play calmly and, you know, do what I'm do. So, yeah. Zach, what did you play at last year? What was your playing weight last season? I was, mm, I was more like 245. That's what I think I remember. I'm like 245. So I think I gained about like, you know, 15 pounds. I think I'm going to gain a little bit more, you know, probably like five, something like that. But uh, maybe next year, if I'm still here, like I'll gain a few more pounds. I'm not really, I don't really feel like any different. So I think I could still gain some more weight. Yes. You got to get up in the middle of the night and eat or? Yes, the main thing that I did to gain weight was eat when I'm not hungry. And that was a big struggle for me because, you know, I eat big meals. I don't really eat snacks. And that's what he had to do. And also eat a big meal before you go to bed. So that's all I've been doing. Myron, first offense today, uh, can, did y'all move the ball? Did y'all score? How, how did the first offense flow? Uh, first offense, we came out we came out pretty good uh, today. We moved the ball well, successfully. Um, I think we scored uh, on our second drive, um, but overall, it was a very pro productive day for the first offense. Did Shaden and Spencer just feel like they were going in different spots compared to the freshman compared to the junior? Yeah, definitely. KJ's uh he's came a long way since uh, last year. He's uh, grown into his leadership role that we need for him to be this season, and I think he's going to make great strides. Coach just said that Rocket is probably, or not not probably, he is the number two back behind Traylon Smith. What do you like about his running style? What's kind of jumped out to you, you know, in these scrimmages about him? Uh, he just runs, I don't know, he runs fearless, fearlessly. Um, he's a hard runner, just like a 22. They both run way bigger than what they are. And that's, that's going to help us in those short yardage games and all the other stuff. I assume you've gone against Zach's, you know, whether it's drills or team stuff. Yeah. Um, what what's your I assume you've gone against him the last couple of years. What's your take on how he's developed as a DN and how is he different now blocking him than say when he was just barely over two hundred? Yeah, well, I mean, when I first got here, me and Zach were both a little uh underweight, but uh throughout the years, uh he has definitely gotten better and you could tell he's gotten a lot more physical in the run game and pass game, and especially with the added weight that he's put on, it just makes it harder to move him out of there. For both you guys, you know, you've already had two hard weeks of camp, still two weeks out from a game. So I would think this third week is a challenge, maybe mentally and physically. Um, how big is it to make sure you keep pushing through this week? And kind of how, how do you guys approach uh, the, this third week of camp? Uh, we just got to approach it with a... Uh, the right mindset. I mean, we're two weeks out from Rice, and we got to treat it as such. And this scrimmage is only getting us better and getting us more prepared for Rice. So we just got to treat it like it's a game and handle it that way. Yeah, I feel the same way. We can't, just because fall camp's kind of over, you can't take your foot off the pedal, you know. You have to still treat it like a game situation no matter what. You know, um, next weekend is like the mock game. And, you know, people are going to be you know, not really into it kind of like today because it was a whole scrimmage. But um, I feel like we've matured enough to understand that 
as the days go by, like we're closer and closer to a game, so we can't back down now and lift foot off the pedal. From your perspective, what what, what have you thought of Rocket as a, as a running back? What what's impressed you about when you guys go against him? Well, he's pretty strong and he's fast, so you know you can't um, you know lose contain. You can't just try to wrap him up and he'll fall to the ground. He'll take you for about a good five ten yards. So you know if you're finna hit him, you have to hit him real good. So I, that's what I like about him. One more from Zach, if that's okay. Um, you obviously, you know, I think you started four games last year, played quite a bit, and then they brought in three older, you know, grad transfer seniors, and it seems like there's it's deeper on the line now, more competition, different guys subbing in first team. Just how, how have you thought about that as a returning guy, about the guys they brought in, how everybody's kind of meshing together? Um, you know, it's, it's healthy competition, and I respect that, that, you know, they're going to make us – fight for our spot every day. And that's just going to make us all better. But, you know, outside of practice and, you know, like everything football related, we all, we mesh very well. Um, you know, just like tonight, everybody's trying to do something together as a D-line. And we've never really done that before. So I feel like there's a difference between, you know, football relationships and outside relationships. And I think that we're equally great in both. Last year, there was, uh, I think, I think there's some defensive offsides and maybe some offensive holding calls, too many. Mm-hmm. What did it look like from a penalty perspective? Um, there weren't that many penalties today. I think there might have been, like, um, a holding or, like, uh, maybe one offsides, but there weren't that many penalties this scrimmage, especially compared to the last scrimmage. I think the leadership just stepped up and uh, made it an emphasis not to have those penalties because come game time, it's just going to hurt us, no matter if it's on offense or defense. Question for both of you guys about Takias Crawford. Um, young guy starting to seems like he's starting to get it. What, what have you seen from him? I know he's been working on the other side, but what have you seen from him and his growth? And Zach, I'm sure you probably locked horns a couple times with him. Um, I just seen improvement from him. every day he comes in. Uh, he's just trying to work and trying to learn to better himself out there on the field. Um, the past scrimmages, he's gotten better throughout the two scrimmages that we had, and it's going to help him come time uh, for the season. Yeah, I feel the same way. He is getting a lot better. And, you know, the thing with Tykees, once he gets his hands on you, you can't really get them off no matter what you try to really do. And that's what I like about him because, you know, everybody has different aspects to why they're great. And, you know, Tykees is getting a lot better with his hands. And so I appreciate that because he's helping me get better. Byron, you, you played obviously a lot of snaps next to Brady last year, and it seems like he's starting to get most of the one reps this year in camp. Where have you seen the most growth from him? Where has he gotten better compared to last year? Um, I think just our our chemistry has gotten better. I mean, we played a lot together last year, but uh, for him, I think he's just gotten – he's learned the offense a lot better this year. He's uh, – He's not taking as much time to get through his reads. Uh, he's gotten a lot more physical this year in our run game, and I think he's going to be great. Yeah, I think he was a great guy. I mean, 0-10 last year. I'm wondering where the belief that you could start winning games came from, and then going into this year, do you, do you feel you can be better, and, and how, how can you be better? Um, The belief is, you know, just Coach Pittman, he inspires, you know, a lot of things that, you know, previous people really haven't. And he's really down to earth. Um, He's just a guy to fight for. And that's really all I have to say about that. But, you know, once we did win those few games, it just gave us, you know, like a drive that, you know, I feel like the team hasn't really felt in a while. And, you know, even the games we lost, they were close games. Like, they weren't better than us. But, you know, that's what we all like, like to feed off of because, we could be really great this year. And, you know, they don't have anybody better than us. We might have some people better than them, like just vice versa, you know, for different positions. Yeah, I think Coach Pittman just, like Zach says, he inspires us to be great. And he just instills that uh, in us every Saturday we go out to play. And, I mean, if when we're behind Coach Pittman, there's nothing else we need. Both of y'all sound like Malik from what Coach Pittman said had a pretty good scrimmage today and I you know I know you're out there with the first team he's running second team Zach I don't know how much if you've been chasing him around what, what do you guys thought what do you think of Malik today and what have you thought of his camp Ooh, Malik Malik is Malik Malik is a fast little bugger I mean 
you have to be outside of him. Like, if you're not, he's just going to outrun you, put you in a blender. But, you know, he's doing a lot better. I mean, he was always great, but he was he's doing a lot better, you know, reading stuff because it's harder for me to read him in, like, a back in a mesh combo, like, if I get the quarterback or the back. And he's making it a lot harder. He does it quickly, so, you know, like, you have to think faster. And I feel like he's just getting better and better every day about it. Yeah, I mean, he's getting through his reads uh, faster. I mean, he's definitely – one of our more athletic quarterbacks. So whenever he takes off, it's, it's a show to say the least. But um, I think he's come along great. He made some great throws and some great runs today.